Hey guys, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela. And you're watching Green Acre Homestead. We are in the middle of a budget DIY mobile home renovation, and right now we're working on our kitchen. Today we're going to be doing drywall work, electrical work, and prepping for paint. Alright, so what I'm going to start off with is some of this flexible, quick dry spackling. And I'm going to go ahead and touch up just the few little spots that need finished. I added a couple of screws in the drywall, so I need to patch them up and just give everything a good once over. While Sam's doing that, I'm going to use our 10,001 tool and take the strips off the walls that scream mobile home. Mobile home! See the big ol' It's pretty hard to peel off whenever you got many coats of paint over top of it. I'm done doing all of the spackling of the walls that I can do right now until Angela's done pulling the strips off. So I'm going to change gears on my end and go ahead and start putting these outlets in the wall here. I skipped ahead. I did the light switches already because we really need to have our lights here above the sink. I've got it pulled back out of the wall though because I need to figure out the circuit feed direction through the wall. I don't remember and it's been a while since I did the wiring. So I'm going to get the tester out which is over there. Turn the breaker on and check my power to find out which direction the power goes. And then I'm going to wire up my breakers. Nope. And then I'm going to wire up my outlets. Alright, nothing. Nothing. Good. So the power's not coming that way. That's got juice. That doesn't. Okay. Power's coming from here to there to there and then on down the line. So, this is my incoming line, outgoing, and yellow jacket, incoming, outgoing. Okay. Here's another question you're probably going to ask in the comments below, or tell me, rather. You don't need more than one GFI outlet on a circuit. I'm doing this for aesthetic reasons. I was digging around the toolbox looking for a tool and I found some better, more beefing, that's right, beefing light switches. These are Hubble brand commercial frame toggles. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these really cheap, junky ones and put these in place. And then these can go back to Lowe's because they have a barcode on the side of them. But since I found these, I'm gonna use these. They're a lot better. If you guys like this kind of content where you see people renovating their home on a budget, or just on paycheck to paycheck and they're normal people, we have another channel we'd like for you to check out. It's called 1806 Stonehouse. They're linked in the description below. It's a husband and wife team. They are doing a much more in-depth reno than what we're doing, but it's still fun to watch. If you guys go check them out, let them know that we sent you to them. And if you already knew about them, let us know too. It's kind of cool to see who watches whose channel in this kind of realm of YouTube videos. Yeah, 
here's our way of mudding over the strips in a mobile home. Um, don't know if it's 100% foolproof because it's the first time I'm doing it here. So if you want to see if it works long time, stick around long time. Let me get a couple of nip. Yeah, Angela's already reading my mind. She's gonna bring me a couple of drywall nails. That's all right, nails. They're ring shanked. They're not gonna go anywhere, guys. All right, a few things about the wall here. This little vent that I just took out is nothing but a hole I cut through the wall into our bedroom up at the top to allow our hot air from our propane stove to come through the house, heat the bedroom, and kind of circulate the air better. It's just simple cut through the drywall. Obviously I left my stud in place and I put a grill over top of it. I took it down because I'm gonna be mudding this area and it was gonna be in my way. I also took time to hammer down all the staples and kind of make sure this joint of the drywall pieces are indented so that'll take mud better and then come in with drywall nails and tack everything down really good. Next up is to get some drywall mud. Go ahead and lay down the base and set the tape. All right, that's good enough for my first part of setting the tape. I'll let this dry for a while, and then we'll come back and do a larger um, mud job to continue to feather out the joints. We got this awesome under sink organizer from one of our viewers. Thank you very much. And we're going to try and install it now. Oh, I need you to hand me the drawer. <laughs> Perfect. Look what we got. We got so many comments about it, so we got some to try. Thank you for the comments. That's awesome. Thanks. Well, guys, thanks for coming with us today as we installed the outlets. We 
did some drywall work, some prepping of the walls for paint. And showed you guys a little bit how to hide the strips. Well, not hide them, get rid of the strips on mobile home walls. Be sure and stay tuned and subscribe for us for part two, where we finish out the strips and we actually paint the kitchen next. Are you ready for that? I am so ready for that. I know you are. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, guys, what are we gonna say? Get your. But now, look, my head's lumpy though. That's not gonna help. Oh, I was born that way. <laughs> we did great on that first take. Now we're gonna mess it up. Oh, I know I will. You want me to? Well, guys. <laughs>